Hello, this is Allie with The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I want to tackle a idea that is super pervasive in the spiritual community, and essentially I'm not wanting to deconstruct or attack or take down what is believed. Um, I simply want to express maybe a different perspective of what is being believed right now in order to help you find a little bit more freedom and joy and happiness in your life, okay? So the thing that I want to talk about is this idea that your thoughts create your reality, all right? So I know that especially in the Law of the Attraction Abraham Hicks community, um, it is this idea that if you have a high enough vibration, if you have a high enough way of thinking, if you are constantly thinking positive thoughts, if you're really, you know, on top of your thinking and on top of your vibration, that you're going to attract into your life a whole bunch of things that all align with that, so a whole bunch of good, positive experiences and negative experiences are going to stop happening, okay? And I just want to present, again, not as an attack, but maybe as um, an expanded view of this idea because I believe that it's going to help you feel better in your life. Okay, I really believe that, okay? So this idea that thoughts create your reality and that if you just have positive enough thoughts and if you just have a high enough vibration that you will stop having negative things happen to you. So what this means is most people have taken this idea, right? That thoughts create your reality, that your vibration creates your reality, that your frequency creates your reality, and they have said, okay, when I get sick, or when someone's mean to me, or when something hard happens, or when I get fired from my job, or when I experience a negative emotion, or whatever, this is a sign that I have a low frequency, that I have a low vibration, that I have not been on top of my thoughts. And I understand the, the kind of in, inclination to really want to believe this, that if you could just control your thoughts and your vibration, and your, your energetic frequency enough that bad things would stop happening to you? Because of course, okay? This is kind of the number one pervasive belief, unconscious underlying belief that we have as a society, that negative things are not supposed to happen, okay? So I just wanna present that as an idea, that it could be that we as a society in general fully and completely believe that negative things shouldn't happen, that negative emotions shouldn't happen, that hard, challenging things shouldn't happen, okay? So we already have this underlying belief that is at odds with reality, all right? So I just want to just take a moment and just consider that, right? That bad things happen, negative emotions happen, people pass away, people stub their toes, people get fired from their jobs, people lose money, people lose arms, people get sick. All of these things happen, okay? And they have always happened. They've, there's never been a point in history where everything was perfect. I mean, I guess we think that in maybe in Eden or whatever, but you, you see what I'm saying? Generally speaking, the, the reality that we can take, a, that we can account for um, the human history that we can prove existed, there were always problems. There were always things that happened. There were always challenges. People always experienced negative emotions. This is a part of our humanity, okay? So if this is the case, right, and we're telling ourselves that these things shouldn't happen, already we're setting ourselves to, are setting ourselves up to be in more pain when these things happen than we would be if we just fully understood that these things are part of life. That these things are going to happen. Whether you're the most positive person or the most negative person, awesome things are gonna to happen to you and hard things are going to happen to you, okay? You're a human, that's a part of this life. Okay, so that's number one thing. We are at odds with reality as soon as we have decided that bad things shouldn't happen that negative emotions shouldn't happen. And we automatically build up resistance in ourselves to reality when that happens, okay? So what if, what this idea um, that our thoughts create a reality 
actually is pointing at is the idea that your thoughts create your perception filter that then dictates how you experience reality. Okay? So I want you to consider this. What if it's not that your vibration is low that you got sick? What if it's not that your thoughts weren't pure that you got fired? What if it's not that you did something wrong energetically that caused something negative to happen to you? Okay? What if everything that happens to you is a part of your path? Everything that happens to you is a part of what is supposed to happen. So if that becomes your new belief, right? So if you substitute the old belief that bad things aren't supposed to happen and something has gone wrong when they do, to say nothing has gone wrong, this is life, this is what's happening, I don't like it, I don't want it to be that, I don't, I don't agree with it, sure, but this is what's happening. And what if you choose to then take on a belief that everything that happens to you happens for your good? Right? So what if you're the type of person that when you stub your toe, you say, what was the positive intention in that? Where's the blessing in the fact that I just stubbed my toe? I'm rushing around and I wasn't present. So this was a reminder to pull me back into the present moment. So now I have this belief. So this bad thing happened, but I perceived it, my reality of it, is that I was being reminded to slow down and, and uh, take stock of how awesome my life is. Right? Whereas if you believe that bad things shouldn't happen when you stub your toe, what's your experience of that reality going to be? Oh, my vibration was low. I'm a piece of shit. Like, what's wrong with me? Why did I do that? Or like, what's wrong with this table? What's, like, why is life so against me? What's wrong with the universe? Blah, blah, blah. And that's going to be your experience. That's your reality. So you see what I'm saying? Your beliefs, your thoughts absolutely dictate your reality, but they don't dictate what happens. It's not dictating actual reality. It's only dictating your perception of that reality. Okay? So, and again, I know that what this might sound like is that I'm saying that you have no control over what happens to you. Right? I'm it, it sounds like what I'm saying is it's inevitable that bad things are going to happen to you and there's nothing you can do about it and all that you can do is change your perception of it. And I just want to suggest that, like, of course, when we're so against experiencing negative things, when we're so against feeling negative emotion, when we're so afraid of negative experience and negative emotion, it's going to feel like blasphemy for someone to tell you that there's nothing you can do, those things are going to happen to you. Right? Of course. Because you don't want it. Because you hate it. Because you're afraid of it. Because you believe that it's bad. You believe that it shouldn't be happening. You believe that it's a sign of something going wrong. So you're going to want to have a system that gives you control over stopping those things from happening, right? That's why this teaching is so attractive. The teaching that your thoughts create your reality is so attractive because we are so hell-bent on believing that negative things and negative emotions shouldn't be happening and that there's got to be some way that we can stop them from happening, right? That's why we like that teaching because we foundationally, fundamentally believe that bad things shouldn't be happening, right? So I'm saying, what if we take a step back and look at reality, right? And we say this all the time. Why do, good thing, why do bad things happen to good people and why do good things happen to bad people? That doesn't seem to make sense. Okay, well, what if it does? What if it makes perfect sense? What if it's just everything that comes into your reality is there to teach you what you need to know? Everything that comes into your reality is there for your experience, your expansion, your growth. Okay, and I think we can all look back on our lives and see things that at first when they happened, it felt super negative. It felt terrible, like you got laid off from your job or you broke up with your girlfriend or, you know, someone told you that they hated you or, you know, you went through anorexia, whatever. You look at it, you think that was really negative, that was really bad. And then now on the other side of it, you think, well, but yeah, like I learned and grew so much from that experience, right? I am the person I am today because of what I went through. Right? Those negative things actually turned out to be something that really empowered me. Right? Like for me, I would not be the person that I am today. I would not have the strength that I have today. I would not be able to sit here and make these videos for you had I not gone through the process of healing from anorexia. And so therefore having anorexia. And I don't look back and think, oh, my vibration was just really low that I got anorexia. It's like, Sure, my vibration was low and like I was in a negative place and all of that stuff, but 
that journey in and of itself gave me the ability to be the person that I am today. Right? I would not be here doing this had I not gone through that. I would not have the strength to put myself out there. I would not have the strength to put myself out there and have people come at me and tell me that I'm wrong and I'm stupid and like I'm 27, what could I possibly friggin' know? And like all this stuff. Like, of course I would never do this if I hadn't gone through what I've been through. I wouldn't have the understanding of the universe that I have had I not gone through what I went through. So like, here's another thing. People ask me all the time, how do you know what you know? How, how are you so wise? How do you have all this stuff? Well, because I went through a whole bunch of shit. That's why. That's literally it. And instead of sitting around thinking about how it shouldn't have happened, and instead of sitting around trying to figure out how to get out of it, and instead of fig trying to like avoid negative emotion or run away from it or whatever, I went just into the eye of it. I said, okay, well, this is my reality. I'm sick and I need to change. And there's a whole bunch of shit that needs to change. And there's a whole bunch of pain that I need to look at in order to change. And I did. Right? And that's why I know what I know, because I didn't resist my reality. I stopped making it wrong that I was where I was. I stopped saying something's going wrong here. I said, what if this is exactly right? What if this is my journey? And I stopped resisting it. So now, people might look at me and think, look, her vibration is super high, right? You must look at me and think my vibration is high. And guess what? Shit still happens to me all the time, all the time, right? I, I still miss the bus. I still have people come and tell me that they think I'm stupid. I still have fights with my, my partner. I still have fights with my sister. I still stub my toe. All of these things still happen to me. Bad shit still happens to me. I still feel sad. I still feel angry. I still feel emotional. Okay? The only difference is I'm not in resistance to it. I'm not telling myself that it shouldn't be happening. I'm not telling myself that it's because I'm wrong or I'm bad or I've done something wrong or bad that this is happening, right? I now have a belief that says everything that's happening should be happening. This is reality. So what am I gonna get out of it? What am I gonna mine from it, right? What am I gonna take from this? And so the last thing that I just wanna leave you with is that like all of the enlightened people that we've ever known, Right, All of the people that to us seem like they're in this really high vibrational state, this really awesome vibrational state, this like enlightened guru state, all of them say the same friggin' thing. That negative emotions still arise, that their friends still die, and they get sad when that happens, that they still stub their toe, that they still get angry and frustrated and, and get setbacks and people tell them they're stupid and all of these things still happen to them but they no longer look at that as something going wrong, okay? They just accept it and they go with it and they allow it to be what it is. And that is what removes like 99% of the pain that we experience in life anyways. So what I wanna say is this, if you're holding on to this idea that if you just think good enough or do whatever, that, you're, that negative stuff is gonna stop happening to you and me telling you that negative stuff is always gonna happen to you really insults you, I just want you to consider that perhaps it's because you have a foundational belief that tells you that bad things shouldn't happen. And that is what's causing you the pain when those bad things happen. Okay? So just think about that. What if it's not that your thoughts create reality in the sense that like if you just get your vibration high enough, your life is going to be heaven. And it really is. If you get your vibration high enough, you just see that there isn't anything wrong with anything. That there never has been anything wrong that nothing's gone wrong when negative things happen to you and that everything is trying to bless you. And then you start to go at it from that perspective and all of a sudden life isn't so painful. Painful things aren't so painful because you're not telling yourself they shouldn't be happening. Painful emotions aren't so painful because you're not telling yourself you shouldn't be feeling that. You see what I'm saying? And you just allow yourself to be with what is and you learn from what is and you grow from what is and you don't get stuck and you won't be stuck in a negative emotion forever and you won't get stuck in a negative shitty place forever, that only happens when you resist it, okay? So think about it like that. Just, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. I get it, right? I, I understand. No one wants to hear that negative things are always gonna happen to you no matter how hard you try. But I'm just saying that if you can kind of get yourself on the other side of that and say, okay, what if these negative things aren't bad but are actually trying to bless me and grow me and change me and make me the person that I'm wanting to be anyways, all of a sudden it's not so painful. And that's actually a lot easier than trying to manage a vibration that you can't even see or feel or know.
Okay, so I'm just gonna say that. You do it with it what you will. Um, find me on Facebook. I'm at Perception Trainers. Find me on Instagram, Ali underscore Perception Trainers. Like, subscribe, um, share this video, uh, comment down below, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.